Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Edgewood's Art Showcase. Tonight, we wanted to give students the chance to turn in things and let the school and others see what they could not see because COVID-19 took the end of the year. Some of them have dances that they performed, some have songs that they have written, as, far, as well as poetry, and many more. Art is more than just those core classes. As math and English and science are important, they help us exist in the world, but art helps us live in it, helps us endure it. Plato said that music gives life to everything, and I don't think he would argue when I say the same applies to any form of art. So as we get started with the night, let me first introduce Vanessa Lee and a couple of her drawings. Visual art has been very important to the art community for centuries, from painters like Van Gogh and Frida Kahlo, we see that visual art can have a very meaningful effect when we look at it. As we look at art, most often when we say the word, the one thing that usually comes to mind is paintings and drawings. But that's not all art is. The English language art is a very important aspect of the art community within the world. William Shakespeare, one of the greatest poet, playwrights, and performers of all time, is a great example of this. So, let us get started with a poem by Eliana Mendoza called Collision. I have always lived in two completely separate worlds. My first world always evolving and changing, and though there are surprises every day, it's also formed by facts. It is filled with flesh and bone. It lives and breathes. It's real. And the other is written on pages and hidden behind screens. The characters still seem to have more life. Though they do not bleed the same blood as me, their ink still seeps into my veins. Before this, all the wonderful and terrible this they were separate i was aware of where i was at all times i was here or there there was no in between and i loved it because when i lost a loved one whether it was my own dog in muscovina or old yeller in salt lick i always knew that i would have a shelter somewhere but somehow, between March 13th and now, the line has become blurred. I can no longer read Pride and Prejudice without Mr. Darcy morphing into every prideful protester demanding to go outside with guns on their back and prejudice policemen who allow this simply because they are men, simply because they are white, simply because this pandemic to them is nothing but a simple inconvenience. When I read Lord of the Flies, see the chaos that the boys devolve into, I can't help but wonder how long it will take before households turn into islands, before little boys are forced to become men, before help comes and saves us from the fire, from the fighting, from each other. Now, every time I read Waiting for Godot, I see myself in Estragon, in Vladimir. I wonder if we're all just waiting for an answer that will never come, hoping for something without truly knowing what we're hoping for. But somehow, even though my worlds are closer than I could have ever imagined, I have never felt so distant. Thank you, Eliana. And next, we have another form of art that is very closely related to the English language art. In a sense, it is. Theater. A very important aspect of the world's art community, with Broadway and so many plays. Once again, English playwright William Shakespeare has been known to be one of the best playwrights, well, I'll take that back, the best playwright to ever have lived. 
and if you try to argue with an English teacher, watch out. <laughs> but tonight, we have a monologue. Not from William Shakespeare, but Lorraine's Hansberry, A Raisin in the Sun. Once again performed by Eliana Mendoza. Me? 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 I'm... Nothing. Me. When I was very small, we used to take our sleds out in the winter time. It, the only hills we had were some ice-covered stone steps of the houses down the street. We used to fill them in the snow and make them smooth and slide down them all day. And it was far too dangerous, you know, far too steep. And sure enough, one day a kid named Rufus came down too fast and hit the sidewalk and we saw his face just split open right there in front of us and I remember thinking this was the end of Rufus but an ambulance came and they took him to the hospital and they fixed the broken bones and they sewed it all up and the next time I saw Rufus he just had a little a little line down the middle of his face I never got over that. That was what one person could do for another. Sew up the problem, make him all right again. That was the most marvelous thing in the world. I wanted to do that. I always thought it was the one concrete thing in the world that a human being could do, fix up the sick, you know, make them whole again, that. That was truly being God. No. I wanted to cure. It used to be so important to me. I wanted to cure. It used to matter. I used to care. I mean, about the people and how their bodies hurt. I, I think I stopped. Once again, art has many forms, and one of the most influential and one of the most participated in our school is our dance program. Miss McPhee is a great instructor who has been teaching there for many years. Thank you, Miss McPhee, for all you do and for making us all learn and love to dance. Our first dance performance is done by Vanessa Lee to a song called Kill This Love by Blackbird. Thank you, Vanessa. And now we have another dance, this one by Lucero de Leon, performing to a song called Oh My Girl. And now another dance by Jacqueline Ramirez.
great performances so far. Thank you guys for these awesome dances. But we're not done yet. We have another piece by Jasmine Galvan danced to one of my favorite songs, Uptown Funk. Thank you, Jasmine. Dance is a great art that I enjoy and very many of us do. But it's not the last of the night. Well, not the last art form anyways. We have one last art form to introduce. Two singers. This first one I know pretty well. And she has been such a great singer and guitarist. She's recently decided to pick up her guitar once more and play more often than she used to, something she's very much enjoying. It's great to see someone who enjoys music as much as I, if not more. Music is more inspiring to me, personally, at least, in my opinion. It's one of the greatest of all time. As Plato has said, 
even though that quote applies to all art form, I believe, Plato said it specifically about music. Music is an art form that is very expressive. Not in movement, not on a piece of paper, not so much with words, but a combination sometimes of words and music together to give meaning, not just behind the lyrics, but behind the music as well. Our first performer, one of her original songs, and let it be said, yes, original, and it is so, in, it is so thrilling to see when our students have the love for music, enough to write their own and perform it for you. Our first singer, Aliana Nalapo, with her original song, Road Trip. He said it's time to go grab your things and put your shoes on. Wave goodbye, close the door, and it was the last time. I'm sitting by the door. Maybe you forgot your keys, your phone. But I know you're on your way home. I'm better off not knowing where you're going. No, I'll make it alone. I'm on this road trip on my own. And sometimes I'm getting homesick from your arms where I know I can hear the music again. No, I won't do this alone again. No, I won't do this alone again. No, I won't do this alone again. Open road, volumes high, there's no time for being low. Just meet the stars in the sky, no more room for questioning why. Sometimes you cross my mind, and I won't lie, the hurt feels good inside. But I remember what I did decide. I'm better off not knowing where you're going. Sick from your arms where I know I can hear the music again. No, I won't do this alone again. No, I won't do this alone again. No, I won't do this alone. Feels like I have to wait and there's no escape from the thoughts you left inside of my head.
this alone again. <laughs> We have heard many performances tonight, but there is one last one, another original song. For you seniors, as you can see, I'm wearing my gown. Sadly, not my cap. It's out getting decorated by my cousin, but it only felt right to wear this considering what the next song is about. Seniors, we have lost a lot. We lost our prom, our grad night, our senior sunset, senior barbecue, the chance to enjoy the last couple of months of our senior year together. It's hard times. We have gone through what no other class has gone through before. That can be assured. And it's hard. Hard to not see our friends every day. Hard to not celebrate the end of one point of our lives and the beginning of another. But there is hope. We are the class that looked fear in the eye, COVID-19 in the eye, and pushed through, pushing through, for however long it takes. We are strong, we are resilient. We are poise, respect, integrity, diligence, and enthusiastic. We are the class of 2020. This next song, a great, attribute to our class. I've seen her for four years grow. I was in awe when I first heard her on a stage. And still, even today, am in awe. Her voice has grown. Her ability to play the ukulele, play the guitar, to write music. So much. She's done so much. We've all seen her from freshman year all the way up to now. And we've seen what she can do. You've seen her perform some of her original songs in Epic. But now, it's time to see her perform her last original song on the Edgewood performance stage. We're all going to miss her. And although her song may say it's over, in a sense, it never really is. She wanted to write this for you, class of 2020. A reminder of the good times and how they'll always be in our hearts. This is Gabby Atkinson with her original song, The End. Say hello to new life, never know. 
think of what it would have been like entering our last couple weeks of high school as seniors. But you know, things happen for a reason. And thankfully, everyone's at home staying safe and healthy. But I hope for the day that we all get to see each other again. So stay safe, everyone. Did I tell you or what? Wasn't that a great song? Well, now we have officially reached the end of our performances and the end of the Edgewood Art Showcase. It's been a pleasure showcasing these excellent artists throughout the night. Please, if you can, find a way to contact them and congratulate them on one of their last performances of the year. Perhaps it is their last, at least for Edgewood. We thank not only the students, but our teachers, our art teachers who did more than just show us what art is, but show us what it means to perform it, to create it. It wasn't easy. But with the guidance of our art teachers, we have come to do a lot. We have come to be successful in the ways of art. Thank you very much to our English teachers, art, visual art teachers, performing art teachers, Ms. Rubel, Mr. Gomez, McPhee, Lindsberg, Mr. Price, Mr. Michael, Mr. Paraglia, Meyer Hoffer, the list goes on and on. We thank you all for being more than teachers, for being guides, and for helping us through this time, teaching us the importance of art. Good night, Edgewood, and enjoy the last couple of days of the year 2020 at school.